Hello fellas and welcome to another video. I know that many of you intend to take the OSCP certification and for that purpose you might be looking for ways to train in a OSCP like fashion. Uh, I'm doing just about the same thing and for that purpose a friend of mine sent me a list with a couple of uh, virtual vulnerable machines from Volnhub on Discord and I'm actually going to link to that list in the description of this uh, video. So the first machine on the list was Kyoptrix level 1 and lo and behold uh, I ran into issues with this machine um, even before I started. So uh, you might run into the same issue which is why I'm doing this video to actually save you some time and uh, get to the bottom of it quickly and actually start working on the machine more efficiently. And you might be and we might be running into this issue because Kyoptrix is I think a very old uh, virtual uh, vulnerable machine I think it's 2010 but anyways so I wasn't able to see Kyoptrix uh, uh, this vulnerable machine from my Kali Linux even though they would be on the same type of network I tried both bridged uh, NAT and all different sorts of network configurations and I wasn't able to actually see it so it took me a couple of hours until I was able to debug this issue um, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So uh, over here I have uh, VMware Workstation version 15 and I have the um, Kali Linux running over here. So it's uh, Kali Linux is on NAT and um, Kyoptrix is also set on NAT but uh, to actually be able to see it you would have to edit the vmx file with uh, notepad and then uh, do a search for uh, bridged okay and the first result uh, because there are two results so it's this one over here and it should be another one down there and this one we're actually going to change it to nat and then control s to save it and then we can actually exit so right now we can just uh, start the Kyoptrix machine and once it started we can actually look for it in Kali this might take a while as you can see it goes uh, through the configuration and if it doesn't work it's gonna stop at the point where it tries to uh, bring up the ETH zero. So right now it's checking for new hardware. I know this is hard to find. Uh, over here to actually skip this we can just uh, hit enter and then keep configuration. And right now um, it should be able to, to find it. So if we go to um, if we go to Kali over here and do a net discover, we should be able to see it if everything works according to plan. So it should take, uh, if I'm looking at uh, my IP address, 192.168.152.129, um, the Kyoptrix will be 192.168.152. point something. And that should actually pop up here any minute now. And as you can see, um, I think this is it. So it's not 1, not 2, not 254, but 130, I guess. So if I'm just looking for, let's say, do a quick nmap on it, 192.168.152.130, we should have it, uh, we should have the ports, the open ports, uh, in just a few moments and there you have it so this is how you actually fix the the issue with Kyoptrix uh, with this is was uh, this was actually the first Kyoptrix but if I'm going to encounter um, the same issue for the rest of the Kyoptrix machine I'm actually going to update the description of this video or make another video if uh, the solution is kind of different. So I hope you guys find this useful um, and you are very perseverant in your training for the OSCP. In the end, I want to mention that um, I'm working on a course uh, for uh, Python for beginner ethical hackers. 
Um, and uh, if you want to actually be on the list with the people who get a one-time very big discount for this course, uh, please make sure to check the link in the description and subscribe to that list and you will be one of the first few people who actually find out when the course is out. Okay, that being said, once again, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.